Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something a little bit different for you. And uh, it's something that's uh, recently come to light for me, having worked with some clients over the last few days. Um, and it's to do with energetic cords that are linked to Saturn. Um, basically, um, just like we have sexual cords to sexual partners, um, we're also um, corded to the, the planet Saturn, which is the ruling planet. And it's the one that the um, quote-unquote elite um, worship, uh, Saturn, Satan, it's one of the same thing. And so these chords have come up in, um, in a number of sessions that I've been working with people in. And I really felt strongly um, that I had to do this and put it out there so many people can... Uh, use this and uncord themselves in that way. Now, I'm not promising that this <laughs> gets people out of the matrix or anything like that. Um, there's always uh, lots of different layers and things going on, but um, the people that I've worked with that have done this, they have felt um, a shift. And so I really felt strongly to share this with you guys and guide you through this uh, short meditation to enable you to do it yourself and uh, of course you don't have to um, you know for those that this might not resonate with then you know feel free to scroll on and uh, maybe check out something else um, but my channel is all about freeing us um, as and becoming as sovereign as possible so um, so before we get into it guys, um, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and liking the video and uh, if you are already subscribed, please consider hitting the bell notification because uh, there is a lot of shadow banning going on at the moment and uh, you just want to make sure that my videos show up on my feed so you don't miss out. So uh, let's get into this. So first of all, uh, if you want to get yourself nice and comfortable, maybe sit down in a comfy chair that you like or lay down on bed. Even on the floor for some people, they like uh, a hard surface underneath them. Just whatever does it for you, just spend the next few moments getting in a comfortable position, shutting out any noise. just going to start with taking five really big deep breaths and with each breath I'd like you to relax deep down give up any kind of control any feeling of wanting to rush you really just hand over to your subconscious mind. So start with the first breath. Just going to deepen that relaxation further. 
intestine with a wave of relaxation. Starting at the crown of your head. Moving down into the forehead, relaxing the muscles around there. Down the nose, cheeks, ears, down the jaw to gently sit. the neck, seeing any tension in the shoulders, allowing the shoulders to fall apart, down into the arms, thighs, allowing the hands to gently fall apart too. Nice and calm, nice and relaxed. As we move into the chest area, letting go of any tightness. Tension in the stomach. like you to do is just to connect to the true self, to self energy, who you really are, which is unconditional love, unconditional strength, unconditional understanding. We hold this frequency through today's meditation. We come across any aspects of self that we might show up. Slowly turn your body, turn your attention to your body. Choose to use your mind's eye to just scan inside your body what used to be in you. makes your wonderful physical vehicle that houses your consciousness. And I'd just like you to focus on your heart. Take your time. 
slowly. Just like you to find the etheric cord attached into your heart. Using your mind's eye, you will be there. What does it look like? I just want you to follow where it goes. the other planets, to go past the moon, and the star systems in distance. into Saturn. I may depict it as just the planet. For others, I can depict it as the factory or the farm, energetic farm. No right or wrong. Everyone's subconscious is different. Everyone depicts things in different ways. Water here. Just now. Is to disconnect this cord. physical and energy bodies and this planet. So I just want you to use your subconscious imagination to call in any help that you need to uncord yourself. Some it might be a big pair of golden scissors. Other people might call in a loved one or someone that cares about you to help call this cord. Maybe even a fictional character or just something that comes from your subconscious. Again, there's no right or wrong here. through the process of cutting or pulling out this cord. However long that might take, it might take a few moments, 
again, there's no right or wrong. Find that when you pull out this cord, there might be some stuff that might come out, it might show you maybe that represents pain or hurt or again, that's okay, it's all normal. Allow that process to happen. And once that cord is out, we're going to send that cord back to essence to be transmuted. So, again, using your subconscious imagination. essence, whether that be golden light or something else you'd like to depict. Good. Okay, and from here we just want to make sure that we heal any wound that has been left by removing this cord. So again, using your subconscious imagination, maybe you want to rub some special ointment in there, special golden plaster, however your subconscious wants to go through this process. Make sure any healing is done around this wound. I just want you to communicate with your heart and ask your heart what benefits will you now see in your daily life? How will this change your everyday life by unhooking from this planet? And let your heart answer. some, it may be a feeling of more sovereignty, more freedom, others could be, could be anything, again there's no right or wrong, it's just good to deepen the understanding. could also ask what negatives will you now not have or will you lose that this cord influenced in your life. If 
everything's clear around that area. Just going to do the same process again. Just going to move up to the brain. Slowly scanning the brain. To find the cord. The cord might be hooked into a certain area of the brain, maybe the pineal or the neocortex. Or Again, there's no right or wrong, and the chord might look completely different to the first chord. Again, so you've located the chord. all the way back to where it originates from. See the same as before going to be a different aspect. in terms of the setting control. Okay. Once you've done that, again call in the help that you need help you remove this cord and it can be the same as the first cord or maybe something else will show up just call in now what you need to remove this cord your tools, you have your help in hand, go ahead with the process of removing the cord. Making sure it comes all the way out of the head. Something that looks foreign. Which can often be the case because we're dealing with a lot of AI. This is done. Turn that cord to essence again to be transmuted.
just make sure. Clearing a wound that has been left. Again, using your subconscious imagination. Maybe some golden putty. Cream. Just make sure that go on to the final chord today and just take your conscious awareness scan down to your stomach area same process. So again, locate the cord within the body, within the stomach area. What does it look like? it feel like again just for our own clarity we're going to follow this all the way to the original location You see the moon, you see all the planets on the way, Jupiter. Just following it all the way back. And once you've done that, Again, depending on the size of the cord, its material, call in the right tools or help to remove this. Again, it can be the same as before, it can be different. Just go through the process of removing this cord from the stomach area. Making sure that the whole thing is removed right from where it starts. Right from, from right to where it ends. Again, no 
noticing anything that may be coming out of the wound. And just allowing that process to happen. There's no right or wrong. Whatever you see is valid to you. has fully been taken out. Again we just go through the process of returning the cord to essence to be transmuted. And then make sure that any wound is healed however you need to do that using your subconscious imagination. feel happy that that process has been done. Again, just check in with your stomach, the consciousness of your stomach, and just ask the stomach what positives this will bring to your life. Now this cord has been connected or disconnected. And what negatives will be let go of through this process? some insights. The body often carries a lot of wisdom that can help us. So we're just going to make sure that everything is left before we go in good order. So just check in with the stomach, the heart, the brain. Anything that came in to help with cutting of the cords or removing of the cords, just check that there's no messages from anything else, from any other aspects of your consciousness that you need to hear right now. Just take a few more moments to check that they are okay and if they need anything else for you. well just thank you thank the parts of your body thank those that came to help in removing these cords show them appreciation they've done a very good job just thank your heart for continuing beating throughout the day and you appreciate your brain constantly thinking, your stomach 
feeling. Thank all of them for what they do. And just notice any sensations around your body after doing this process. Maybe there's a lightness, maybe there's a heaviness. There's no right or wrong. Everyone feels differently when it comes to clearing. As we're going to take some deep breaths in a moment. Before we do, you might just want to check in your own time if there's any other chords. These were the main ones that I've found so far, but there might be other parts of your body you might have noticed to be corded, so in your own time, you can do that. For now, just take five big deep breaths. Slowly come back into the body. Hey guys, well done. Um, hopefully that has um, helped you shift a little bit. I'd be really interested to know um, if you have got to the end of this meditation, um, just in the comments section below what you felt, what came up, what you saw. As I said before, there's no right or wrong. Um, when we're going through this, what one person might see, another person might see something completely different. And just to reiterate what I said at the end there, um, you know, you can always check for more chords. Um, something might have come up during that session um, that you might need to go back to, but at least you have the tools and you know how to do this now. But please uh, let me know how you felt what you felt if you felt anything um, if you felt heavy light um, I'm, I'm really interested for feedback on this so uh, thanks for making it to the end and guys as always um, like subscribe share uh, really helps me out really helps the channel out and um, yeah I might do another one of these but this was very particular because it I, it came up very suddenly and it really really resonated strongly so guys have a great uh, week and um, I'll catch you again soon take care bye